Thank you very much for joining us here this morning on the news. Our top focus, after leading a stint fraught with entitlement, law is closing in on the probationary IS officer Pooja Ketkar. In the latest, UPSC has cracked down on the VVIP Babu and has registered a complaint against the Babu and issued a show cause notice to her. Let's tell you the Delhi police has now filed an FIR against her in connection with cheating, fraudulence and forgery. In fact, Times Network has accessed the details of the FIR which reveal how Pooja flouted the system to become a civil servant. According to this particular FIR, Ketkar gave the exam 12 times instead of the stipulated 9 times. In each attempt, she faked her identity by way of changing her name, her father's and her mother's name, her photograph, signature and other such details. Now, even after clearing the prelims and mains in 2021, Pooja didn't show up for the medical test to avoid getting caught due to her fake disability certificate. When confronted about her wrongdoings, here is what the VVIP Babu had to say. Now, while Pooja faces the music, her mother Manurama Ketkar's custody ends today and an attempt to murder charge has also been added to the FIR against her, which was registered following her viral gun totting video that came to light. Meanwhile, husband Dilip Ketkar has now obtained an anticipatory bail till July 25th in connection with the same case. Shushti Atkari, my colleague, joins me with the phone lines. Shushti, a very good morning. And this is essentially what, um, you know, we've been able to unearth with the coverage. As far as you know, it's not just the details that has come to fall. It's the gravity of the allegations which were first put. And now that we're picking up that this fraud is much deeper than what meets the eye. Well, of course, we can understand how she manipulated the entire system and got her work done. She wanted to become an IS. And she got that particular post. But for that particular post, she has done a lot of manipulations is coming to fore. Be it be with her OBC non-similar certificate or be it be for her uh, medical certificate, which she wanted for disability quota. Also, she has not only opted the disability certificate from the Pune hospital, she got it from another hospital also earlier. So combined, she gave a disability certificate. However, there are a lot of, uh, lot of revolutions which are coming to fore that how uh, Puja manipulated, manipulated the entire system. Also, we also understand that this particular family is a is an IS family. Puja is a third generation IS. So one can understand that they know the loopholes of the system inside out. So that's how they have manipulated the entire system. Now, if we talk about Manonama Khedkar, her police custody is ending today. Uh, she has been charged for several sections of IPC for threatening a farmer. Also, Section 307 has added into it, which uh, was pertains to attempt to murder. So let's see how uh, her side of uh, prosecution will go ahead and how the defense will... Uh, how the defense will go ahead for this entire story. But yes, two days of police custody of Manorama Kherkar is uh, 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 ending today. And if you talk about Dilip Kherkar, now he has got an anticipatory bail yesterday by the Sessions Court, wherein it is mentioned that he should follow certain uh, uh, certain important uh, rules and that on, the, on those conditions only he has got the bail, wherein it mentions that he should cooperate with police also, a bail bond of rupees 30,000, and uh, he should give his permanent address of himself as well as two of his relatives. Now, Dilip Khaikar has got bail till 25th of July, and uh, he has got a protection. However, Manorama Khaikar, let's see how uh, the day will pan out and how, what the decision court gives us. And if you talk about Puja Khaikar, now trouble is mounting up. Right, I think she has uh, left from Vashim. She, we are not aware that she is in Pune or she is in Ahmednagar or she is in Mumbai. But Pune City has called her yesterday for the second time to record her statement, which she mentioned that uh, uh, Pune collect collector has harassed her. So let's see if she comes out in uh, to the city office and gives out her statement on the call. Right, Shushi. Thank you very much for not only really telling us the latest as to what is um, coming out of this particular case, but more importantly, legally speaking, how it's not just her, but her family also who find themselves in the dock. Having said that, let's leave the conversation at that and shift our focus to what's essential.